Look at that saddle. That saddle's fantastic. You like that? I love it. <laughs> I chopped up an old wax jacket and made the seat cover. I out love of it. it. You even left the pocket on it. Yeah. What a nice little touch. I need a new coat, but uh, it looks great, doesn't it? Wheeler Dealers is one of the few British TV reality shows that made waves when it premiered. The show produced by Attaboy TV for Discovery Channel in the United Kingdom and Motor Trend in the United States is hosted by car enthusiasts Mike Brewer and Mark Priestley. While the show featured great mechanics like Ed China and Ant Anstead, Mark quickly became a fan favorite on the show due to his easygoing personality and extensive experience. The likes of Ed China and Ant Anstead glued viewers to their seats with their astonishing projects. Mark, who joined the show in its 17th season, isn't any different. His experience as a Formula One mechanic came in handy on Wheeler Dealers. There have been some controversies online involving Mark Priestley, so why don't you tag along as we uncover what really happened. They've refurbished the engine. It's been completely rebuilt. Brilliant. You're going to love it. Love that. I love the sound of that. It's got like an easier project already. Where is it? Mark Elvis Priestley, born in October 1976, is a British citizen and former McLaren mechanic. Yes, you heard that right. The popular McLaren. After Mark's time at McLaren ended in 2009, he transitioned to a media career featuring in numerous TV shows. Behind Mark's decent career lies a great story that began at Dartford Grammar School. He went on to study motor vehicle technology course at West Kent College. After Mark's graduation, he enrolled as an apprentice race mechanic for a series of small motorsport teams in London, working with Caterham 7 cars. Mark, a genius, eventually became the lead mechanic on his team's GT3 sports car, after which he moved into single-seater racing with Lanon Racing's Formula Ford project. Following a stint with the speed sports team in British Formula 3, Priestley was hired as chief mechanic at Orbit Motorsport in Formula 3000. Mark's brilliance didn't go unnoticed as he was offered a job as a test team mechanic by McLaren in 1999. As he did with his first job, Mark displayed his brilliance again and quickly rose through the ranks. His first race weekend with his now employers was at the 2002 Australian Grand Prix, where he was in charge of changing the car's front wing. During Mark's stay at McLaren, he worked as a second choice mechanic for Kimi Raikkonen before becoming the first choice for the team's T car. In 2008, Mark worked as a liaison between both sides of the McLaren garage in the aftermath of a tense 2007 season between top racers Fernando Alonso and Lewis Hamilton. Mark and his team's hard work paid off as the team won the World Drivers Championship with Hamilton at the 2008 Brazilian Grand Prix. After a breathtaking season, Mark opted to work from the team's working base for the new season instead of traveling to each race. Mark's new role gave him much free time, so he started blogging. After establishing his online presence as a blogger, he left the team at the end of the season to pursue a media career. After Mark left his job at McLaren, he began writing about motorsport for various magazines and websites alongside his blog. He also previews and analyzes Grand Prix for other international radio networks such as TalkSport Radio. Mark's new job soon found him a new job after a producer read one of his articles. He was asked to join Jenny Gao as a pit lane reporter for BBC Radio 5 Live at the 2012 British Grand Prix, also interviewing Bernie Ecclestone. While still writing for various auto magazines and websites, Mark began appearing as a guest on Sky Sports News and the Sky Sports F1 channel show, The F1 Show. Some years later, Mark signed a deal to present the technical side of an F1-based series for CNBC called One Second in F1 Racing, where he explains all aspects of Formula One, aerodynamics, pit stops, electronics, and tires. Mark teamed up with Jenny Gal that same year to front the new FIA Formula E series, broadcast live on ITV4. In 2015, Mark filmed a six-part docuseries called Driving Wild, in which he explored a variety of unique motorsports around the world. The series aired on the Discovery Channel the following year. In 2021, Mark was offered a role to replace Ant Anstead for the 17th season of Wheeler Dealers after Ant announced he would leave the show to focus more on his family. In addition to his new job, Mark replaced the longtime voice actor Adam Rice D as the new voice actor of the race engineer in the F122 game. Mark's resignation from the McLaren might have come as a need to transition into the media industry, but after the release of Mark's book, The Mechanic, The Secret Road of the F1 Pit Lane, 
there were speculations that Mark didn't resign because he wanted to transition. Apparently, he left because he realized that with his years of experience at the pinnacle of motorsport, only the superstar drivers get all the praise and fame, while those who work hard behind the scenes are left in the shadows. The engineers, mechanics, and other crew members all unite to ensure the driver has a flawless race, but they don't get any recognition, hence the need to release his books, which reveal how much work the crew members do behind the scenes. He also discussed his secrets and rivalries they all encounter throughout their career. Mark has come far to establish his name as one of the greats in the media. His little time on Wheeler Dealers has so far been a good one, staying off controversies and all, but recently he was trolled for his comments on classic cars. Mark urged classic car owners to take precautions before considering a restoration project. He also advised drivers not to dive into a restoration that has challenges they can't handle and recommended that classic car owners find cars that suit their needs to maximize usability. Mark's words were advice ditched out to the class car owners and car restorers, but the public wouldn't have it. They believe when classic cars stop doing car restoration, auto-themed reality TV shows like Wheeler Dealers will cease to run, and many of the auto guys will have to transition into another industry. Mark's comments on classic car owners were just harmless advice so that the folks won't spend a fortune on restoration, but the fans are not keeping it cool with them. Although Mark hasn't reacted to the trolling, he seems determined not to engage in an online war with fans and will only focus on his job as a renowned mechanic. Aside from the online trolling, Mark has had to deal with public stunts since his primary school days. You might have heard Mark fans call him Elvis online. Mark didn't get a name change, he was nicknamed Elvis right from primary school. In one of his podcast episodes in Car Throttle, his co-host Mike Brewer claimed that the link between Mark and his nickname is tenuous. Mike mentioned that Mark's friends in school thought his last name, Priestley, was similar to Presley, like the popular American musician Elvis Presley, so they decided to call him Elvis to differentiate him from the rest bearing Mike. As a result, the name Elvis was born. Mark eventually added his nickname to the list of his name since his mother, wife, fans, and colleagues all call him Elvis. Working for McLaren was a dream come true for Mark. Besides gaining a lot of experience, Mark also made a fortune working for his former employers. Since he spent most of his time at McLaren as a second choice mechanic before rising through the ranks, he reportedly earned around $60,000 to $80,000 annually as a mechanic. Mark's little time as the first choice mechanic also means a pay increase estimated to be around $80,000 to $100,000 annually. Mark also boosted his net worth after he left McLaren to start writing for auto magazines and websites. His earnings for Autosport magazine are reportedly around $30,000 to $50,000. After his writing gig with Autosport, Mark signed a big deal with CNBC to work on one of their series and also featured in some of Discovery Channel shows before he replaced Ant Anstead as a mechanic on Wheeler Dealers. In 2017, Mark released his first book, The Mechanic, The Secret World of the F1 Pit Lane, where he talked about the secrets and dramas behind the scenes of F1. Mark's book, which was well received by the public, sells for $16 on Amazon, contributing to Mark's net worth. Mark Priestley also runs a YouTube channel with almost 70,000 subscribers and more than 11 million views. As of 2023, Mark is estimated to be worth $1 million. Mark, or Elvis, whichever you call him, has made a name for himself in the auto industry, and his records speak for him. Joining Wheeler Dealers isn't for a regular mechanic because Mike Brewer, alongside the show's producers, made sure to employ only the best. Mark's achievements over the years made him a viable replacement for Ant Anstead. Wheeler Dealers' latest episode featured Mike Brewer and Mark on tour in the legendary Gene Winfield's workshop to give viewers an insight into what Gene's workshop looks like. Although the current season of the show will end soon, there are plans to renew it immediately so that we will see more of Mark Priestley in action.